Now, here's what I have to say. I mean, two shootings on July 4th, one in a rich white neighborhood and the other at a fireworks display. It almost sounds like it's designed to persuade Republicans to go along with more gun control. I mean, after all, remember, we didn't see that happen at all the pride parades in the month of June, but as soon as we hit MAGA month, as soon as we hit the month that we're all celebrating, loving our country, we have shootings on July 4th. I mean, that's, oh, you know, that would sound like a conspiracy theory, right? Of course. But what's the definition of a right-wing conspiracy theory? Well, by the way, it's the news that's just six months early. That was QAnon conspiracy theorist and sitting member of U.S. Congress Marjorie Taylor Greene smugly suggesting that the July 4th shootings were false flags. Why? Well, because they happened in a rich white neighborhood. And being someone from a rich white neighborhood, she knows firsthand that rich white people are perfect. And this could never happen. I mean, that's a little bit of you telling on yourself there. The implications are interesting. But she also says that the reason why she believes that these shootings were sus is because there wasn't a shooting at one of these pride parades. Now, she says that almost as if she wanted one to happen because she spent all of last month fear-mongering and inciting hatred against queer people, screeching about how they're grooming children and whatnot, falsely so. So, you know, for her to see a shooting happen anywhere else and not at Pride, well, seems a little bit sus. Interesting. Now, this conspiracy theory that she's talking about, this whole idea of trying to fabricate these mass shootings to get Republicans to go along with more gun control is a conspiracy theory that has been, along, uh, been around for decades to this point. I mean, we've heard, uh, I've heard for decades from conservatives who I know personally tell me that these mass shootings are nothing more than a ploy for government to come and confiscate all of your guns. Now, there's been mass shooting after mass shooting, literally hundreds of mass shootings every single year, and yet go government still hasn't come for the guns. So, when is it going to happen? Is there ever going to be a straw that broke the camel's back? I mean, at best, after children were massacred in Uvalde, we got milk toast bipartisan gun reform that didn't even prevent the next major mass shooting. But uh, my favorite part of that video was her um, basically saying, quote, what's the definition of a right wing conspiracy theory? It's just the news that's six months too early. And she says this so smugly as if she is privy to knowledge that none of us are privy to. She knows more than all of us. OK, well, if that's true, Marjorie Taylor Greene, if conspiracy theories are just news that's six months too early, can you explain where JFK Jr. is, because more than a thousand people, QAnon supporters, by the way, so maybe you know some of them, showed up to a Dallas event in 2021 in anticipation of his return, and uh, he never materialized. He was supposedly going to announce a co-presidential run with Donald Trump. That never happened. Oh, and after he never showed up the first time, well, Marjorie Greene's QAnon buddy showed up again in June of 2022, and he once again never showed. Hmm, interesting. Also, what about the COVID vaccines supposedly containing microchips or magnetizing people? Didn't get any confirmation of that yet, have we? Speaking of conspiracy theories, was Marjorie Taylor Greene ever proven correct about the Jewish space laser supposedly causing wildfires? What about the 2020 election being stolen since till this day, not a single shred of evidence has proven people like Donald Trump and Marjorie Taylor Greene correct. Trump lost more than 60 lawsuits. Some cases were dismissed by judges Trump appointed himself. But according to Marjorie Taylor Greene, a right wing conspiracy is just news that six months too early. That's a terrible Marjorie Taylor Greene impression, but you get the point. I mean, this is somebody who is not a serious person, but she's a member of Congress. I think that literally my seven-year-old nephew has a higher IQ than her, but yet this person makes laws that affect all of us. She votes on legislation that affects all of us. Now, she's not done because she goes on to explain more why she believes these uh, mass shootings are not real. I can't even make this stuff up. All right, but here, you still have to wonder, here's the question that I was asking, and I did ask it on my Twitter page, but I'm gonna ask you all now. It is really interesting, and I just want to point it out again. No right-wingers, no crazy gun nuts, no white Christian nationalist went out and shot up a pride parade, but yet as soon as all the hashtag F the fourth signs and slogans came out and a bunch of cities 
were saying terrible things about their July 4th celebrations. Bunch of Democrat cities, by the way. Well, what happened on July 4th? A bunch of shootings, terrifying Americans in all different places. But you know what? Who knows? Maybe that's conspiracy theory, too. So what is this going to be? Remember, remember how uh, in 2017 in Las Vegas and, you know, the Mandalay Bay shooting where, I don't know, 57 or something people were shot and killed. And then we never learned anything about that guy or why he did it. We didn't even get to read a manifesto. He had massive amount of guns in his hotel room, shot out of the Mandalay Bay win win uh, window down at a country music festival. We still don't know anything about the guy, except that his wife lives in, in California somewhere with like a $2 million home. <laughs> That's impressive. What does she do for a living? Who knows? You can't know anything about him. He just gets, he just got to kill a bunch of people at a country music concert. But sorry, American people, you don't deserve to know. You don't get to know the truth. You don't get to ask questions. You just have to forget about it because you're the people you're supposed to forget. That's what they say about you. I have political consultants tell me that all the time, by the way. They're like, oh, people forget, Marjorie. No, people do not forget. They don't. They're smarter than you are. People don't forget. And we're tired of being being treated that way. It just cannot be lost on all of us that we have a sitting member of Congress who sounds identical to the host of InfoWars, Alex Jones. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. If you ever doubted yourself, if you ever thought, man, I really want to do something, but I just don't think that I'm talented enough or good enough to do said thing, just remember that if Marjorie Taylor Greene can get elected to Congress, you can do anything. Trust me, because odds are the person watching this, yes, you, you're smarter than Marjorie Taylor Greene, and she made it to Congress. Don't ever doubt yourself again. Now, as to her conspiracy mongering about the Las Vegas shooting, let's go back to an article from September 30th of 2021, four years after the Las Vegas shooting. This is from AP. Quote, I was wounded. Those physical wounds have healed, said Deanne Hyatt, whose daughter also was hurt and whose brother died in the October 1st, 2017 shooting. Quote, but the lasting scars for our family remain. Hyatt spoke to several hundred people during a sunrise ceremony at the Clark County Government Center in Las Vegas. She remembered her slain brother, Kurt Von Tillo, a trucker from Northern California, before a screen at an outdoor amphitheater that displayed photos of the dead. 58 people were killed that night and two others died later. More than 850 people were injured. We continue to live the impact of all that happened that night. Four years later, Hyatt said, people thrive and people struggle to live with the physical and mental pain and our lives are forever changed. So it's been almost half a decade and none of these people have come back. Hyatt's brother hasn't come back to her and dropped an LOL JK. These people are gone, Marjorie. The 850 people who were wounded, they can tell you that that was very much real. But Marjorie Taylor Greene, you know, she doesn't see evidence. So um, we haven't heard any updates on the shooter. Therefore, it must have not happened. This is, you know, the logical conclusion that you'd make if you take what she's saying at face value. Oh, well, if it's suspicious, then it must have not happened. Except you're a member of Congress. Why don't you speak to some of the victims? Maybe they can fill you in on the gaps. Maybe they can recount what happened that night. Maybe you don't know everything that happened about the event. Maybe we'll never know everything there is to know about these mass shootings. But that doesn't mean that they're not real, Marjorie. I mean, if we applied her standard to everything in life... Almost anything can be true because she doesn't need a single shred of evidence to come up with a grand conspiracy theory. I mean, I could come up with my own conspiracy theory. I think that Marjorie Taylor Greene and Louis Gohmert are the same person. My evidence? Um, have you ever seen them in the room together at the same time? I haven't. Now, maybe there's photographic evidence of this, but prove to me that that's not photoshopped. I mean, this is comparable levels of evidence to the conspiracies that she's espousing as well. And I even have a motive. Well, you know, uh, Louis Gohmert, when he was elected to Congress, was worried that nobody else matched his intellect in Congress. So rather than trying to elect more like-minded people, he decided to disguise himself as Marjorie Greene, put on makeup, don a wig, and run in some other random district in Georgia. And, you know, so he switches back and forth. He plays characters, sort of like Eddie Murphy in The Nutty Professor. And, you know, he just, he'll put on the wig, Go vote as Marjorie, come back, you know, put on the bald cap, 
vote as uh, as Louis Gohmert. For all we know, it's a completely different person who's living as Louis Gohmert and Marjorie Taylor Greene. It sounds preposterous, but I have as much evidence for this conspiracy theory as Marjorie Taylor Greene has for her conspiracy theories. So do you understand why it's problematic to apply no evidence to these theories? Because we can reason ourselves into believing any batshit insane thing. And very obviously, Marjorie Taylor Greene has done that. So again, I just I know that I sound like a broken record, but I cannot emphasize this enough. Never let it be lost on us that this is a sitting member of Congress. She votes on laws that affect all of our lives. She has influence as a member of Congress, sway, power, and she's that fucking stupid. When you acting like a...